Zane, welcome to the Rhinos. Uh, how excited are you to, to get over and, and start playing? Yeah, for sure, mate. I just spoke to Kevy before. I just said, mate, you just give me a date and, I'll, you know, me and my, my fan will be right over. So, um, look, I think we're just in the process of um, getting our visas and that sorted. So, um, mate, pretty excited. Um, I just can't wait, to be quite honest with you. You've had a massive last few years with the Roosters and the Panthers and then obviously playing for New Zealand. Uh, uh, yeah. Seeing this is the next challenge for you? Yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of like my my personal motto is where, you know, I need to be challenged. Um, I guess that's just kind of like how I've been. That's just how I've been raised, you know, always had challenges. So I think this is one of them. I think, uh, I think it was time to, you know, really just kind of just venture out and kind of see what, what's next. And, um, you know, I had my time in the NRL. I've had some amazing um, opportunities and amazing time. Been a part of some amazing teams as well. So, you know, we're going to Leeds now, so I'm excited. I'm um, doing a bit of research behind, you know, the uh, bit of the history of the club so that, you know, I have a bit more of a, what you call it, like an emotion connection so that, you know, I can ride the highs and the lows that comes with being a rhino. So I'm looking forward to it and um, hopefully there's heaps of highs coming up. And I know you spoke to Adam Cuthbertson, a former teammate of yours at the Knights about life at Leeds and he, he, he got uh, the seal of approval for you to come over. Yeah, for sure. So I've known Cuffbo for a long time and, um, Good mates from Newcastle, um, great ability, great player, and, um, and also a good mate. So I uh, mate had had a conversation with him about it, and uh, yeah, it was it was simple as that. Um, you know, I'm just about to call Ryan Hall, um, good mate of mine. At, you know, obviously playing at the Roosters, so and uh, definitely a, a legend of um, the lead Rhinos. So um, those guys are kind of you know helped me on the way. So look, it wasn't a hard it wasn't a hard decision. Um, it was just make, making sure that everything was in the right place for um, both clubs and that we can move forward. And obviously you had a year to go at, at, Pan at the Panthers as well, so great that they were able to to help you realise your, your dream of coming over. Yeah, for sure. And then that's that's another thing as well, to make sure that um, you know, everything was in, 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 place, in, the, uh, in place for all the right reasons. And uh, look, Ives has been a great coach for me for the last past year. I've definitely learnt a lot. Um, and look, I'm just, yeah, I guess, you know, they're, they're a great squad. Um, and they will be the next, you know, a top four team, top two team, I reckon, for the next five, ten years. So, um, mate, definitely would uh, want to just give my gratitude and my appreciation because, you know, they've, for that opportunity, you know, it's just given me another opportunity to, you know, venture out and, I guess, show show my ability, uh, show my skill set and um, continue on um, playing the game that I love. And it's a similar sort of role, Kev's got for the, for the Rhinos. Obviously, that was a very young, exciting Panthers squad. You were you one of the senior players there. The Rhinos have got a crop of young players coming through. You're looking forward to, to being able to, to lead, lead from that side. Yeah, exactly. And that's, uh, I think that's a little bit about me. I'd like to, um, you know, come off a, a, a good culture style. And um, if it means to, you know, take, in, take some young fellas under my wing, you know, I'll do that. Um, that's, just who, just, that's just who I am as a person anyway. So, you know, I like to, I like to uh, get to know young young men and help them become, you know, not just um, good players, but um, good men off the field as well. And you played some of the some of the Super League forwards with New Zealand against Great Britain last year. People like yeah. uh, Alex Wormsley and, and Chris Hill. Yeah. To, to clash with those guys again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like, obviously, they beast, man. So, uh, look, I'm keen to, you know, have a crack on that end. And, um, yeah, look. Playing against Great Britain, you know, they're just oh, big men. They love to have that physical contact, and and that's what I love too. So uh, the challenge is, you know, the challenge is on. So I'm looking forward to it. And how much looking forward to, to running out at Emerald Head and Lee in front of the Leeds fans, hopefully, once we, once we can get crowds back over here. Hey, let's get the crowds back, man. So I, I want to hear, I want to hear the Leeds fans, you know, roaring. Uh, I can't wait to be there. And you mentioned there, you've, you've told Kev you, you want to get over as soon as possible. You want to get the paperwork done, looking forward to, to ripping into to pre-season and getting started. I think that, yeah, I think it's not even just about just, you know, I think it just, I think just trying to get that connection in nice and early um, helps the bond, it helps um, camaraderie. So, um, look, the quicker I can get there, the better. Uh, and Zane, finally, uh, just a just a quick one for the, for the Rhinos fans. Wake up Christmas morning, knowing that Zane Tavano's a, a Rhino. What what have you got to say to them? 
just want to wish uh, to all my Leeds Rhinos fans, I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Um, and thanks for having me on board and me and my family. Can't wait to rip in. Cheers, guys.